These days they say everybody has their own truth, and that in matters of public discourse, all of you should be treated as equally valid. Somehow I don't think everybody would be eager to accept my truth. Funny thing is, though, my truth stems from scholarly views that many people hold. I'm just not afraid to connect the dots. Speaking from naturalism, the primary purpose of the human body is not to discern truth or find God, but simply to survive and procreate. Our search for meaning is inherently flawed from the start because our brains are not made to be objective, but as animals with superiority complexes. Any notions we might have of good and evil are illusory. These are concepts we invented to make sense of a chaotic world we were forced into, always subject to the controlling influence of nature and nurture. We can never be absolutely free, and therefore, never even be completely responsible for our own actions. It's only in death that true freedom can be found. The death of the human animal is inevitable, and in fact, even our entire universe is destined to die. You see, as the universe expands, it gets colder as all its energy is used up. Eventually all the stars will burn out, and all life will cease to exist, rendering everything we've ever done to be irrelevant and meaningless. So ultimately nothing, not even a human life, is of significance. But you see, if God is dead, truth is illusory, and life is ultimately without meaning, well, then... All things are permissible, and I very much like that idea.